Good morning. I'm Howard Bushart, and I'm your instructor uh, for this semester. Welcome to DAC 1304, Pharmacology of Addiction. And in this course, we're going to be talking a lot about drugs, but, uh, and some of them are pharmaceuticals and things like that, but most of the drugs we'll be discussing this semester will be those that are uh, abused or that are used for non-medicinal purposes, more or less. And um, some of the drugs that we'll talk about will be how they uh, will be the types of substances that are, that are used to treat uh, addiction to disorders or that are used to treat um, mental health or co-occurring psychiatric disorders. Uh, and that's the kind of, kind of pharmacology we'll be talking about. Uh, there are other pharmacologies that are offered here at uh, Lee College. So if you're looking for the pharmacology for the health information technology, you're in the wrong class. Or if you're looking for pharmacology for the nursing program, you're in the wrong class. But if you're looking for the uh, pharmacology of addiction, well, welcome. Here we are. And so the first thing I'm going to do this morning is to talk to you a little bit about what's going to be expected of you in this class and what you can expect from me and what we're going to be doing over the course of the semester. So um, we'll move right into that. This is your uh, Lee College uh, Blackboard, and I'm going to go over to the syllabus, and uh, which is there, and talk a little bit about that, do a little housekeeping. This is contact information. This is very important. Uh, this is me, and here's where you'll find me. My office is in the old uh, Sears building, McNulty Haddock Complex. The new uh, edition is nursing. I'm in the old edition uh, in uh, W05 in the Western Hallway. Uh, I have student hours uh, here uh, where I'll be around for, to meet with you and you can skip, come, drop by. I should be in my office unless something else is going on on campus. Uh, but uh, my door is always open to you. Uh, if you really need to see me and you don't want to take a chance on missing me, let's make an appointment. I'm very flexible in my appointments when I'm not having to do a lecture in class or when I'm not doing something else the college requires of me. We can just meet whenever. Here's how you can contact me. This is my cell phone, and that's absolutely the best way that people can get a hold of me because I've got it on me all the time. It is not, however, always turned on, and sometimes I don't answer uh, numbers that I don't recognize because I get a ton of junk calls. So if I don't answer you and you get a voicemail, leave me a message. Say, this is so-and-so, your student. Please call me back, and I will. Uh, this is uh, my email. Another good way to get me because I catch it, uh, I check it compulsively. But here's the thing with my email, and this is a caveat for that. Uh, I check it religiously, and sometimes people tell me, well, you didn't answer my email. And my answer to that will be, I thought I did. <laughs> You know, uh, so sometimes, uh, you know, I, I, I just forget to, um, uh, to respond if I see it and I'm doing something else, for instance. So don't be, feel shy. If you send me an email and I don't respond to it in a reasonable amount of time, send me another one and say, hey, dude, you know, and I'll get back with you. Here's how you uh, also get in touch with your division chair which is also me. So if you have a complaint about your instructor, you've got to complain to, to me, who's also your instructor. Uh, and that a, isn't that a catch-22? Uh, this is my office number, uh, and I'm in my office a lot, so you might want to call that. The real power over in the uh, nursing allied health programs is uh, Ivory John Baptiste, who's our secretary. This is her contact information. If you need to get in touch with her for anything, and if you're not satisfied with the answers you get from me and me and Ivory, uh, Dr. Janina uh, Norris is our Dean of Nursing and Allied Health, and you can contact her. This is the number for security, should you need it. 
and the uh, Lee College website is here, but I figure you got that already. The term is spring of 2022. Uh, this is wrong, I'll have to fix that. <laughs> uh, I typed 1319 instead of 1304 for some reason. Uh, but the section is uh, OL01, and again, I'll have to I'll have to correct that. Three hours credit. Uh, we'll be meeting online, so this stuff here doesn't matter. Uh, the uh, course description. Uh, in fact, by the time you see this, I'll probably have this fixed. Uh, this is the course description. We'll be looking at uh, the effects of addiction, tolerance, dependence, cross addictions, drug interactions, withdrawal, and how they uh, influence uh, uh, individual recovery. And we'll talk about the physiological and psychological effects of substance use and behaviors, which is very important. Uh, I mean, if, uh, if uh, substances didn't influence behaviors, we probably uh, wouldn't care. <laughs> Uh, and if they weren't dangerous, of course. Uh, but if uh, if uh, all that if the only risk of marijuana was that you'd feel good, uh, my, my goodness, I'd make sure all my grandkids had a good four finger bag in their lunch kit on the way to school. Uh, but there's some consequences to to drug use, and we're going to look at that this semester too. These are your learning outcomes. This is what we'll. Uh, you'll be demonstrating to me over the course of uh, the semester. Uh, and uh, you'll be able to differentiate and explain stages of drug addiction. There's, it's not just one thing. It's not a monolithic uh, uh, entity out there that's inescapable to us. We'll talk about the components of the central nervous system. You'll be able to identify them and explain their general functions in relation to drug use. And we'll talk about the physiological and psychological ex uh, effects of drugs or addictive behavior on major systems of the body and identify classes and schedules of psychoactive drugs and define items, uh, define terms common to drug use, misuse, abuse, and dependence. Um, and in this course, you'll be running across some language, some terminology that uh, may not, it may not be this way for some of you, but I'd hazard to guess that most of you, this is, uh, you know, you're learning kind of a new language talking about this, uh, and I'm patient with you on that. So, these are your prerequisite and co-requisites. That's a high school rating level. Uh, this talks about technology and what's available to you. I'm going to let you read it rather than go over it item by item. One, because it's very dreadful and boring to talk about this like 10 times in a semester. Uh, but uh, uh, here are links, and you can click on them, and, want, uh, and they take you to places that you can look at and wander around on. If you need help, there's a help desk number uh, and uh, two links to the help desk. If you have problems with your Blackboard specifically, uh, Paula Lee, who is, you know, St. Paula as far as Lee College and Blackboard is concerned. She's the one we go to with all our supplications. Uh, we will be doing all e email communications uh, from the institution and faculty. We'll send those to your uh, student email accounts, and we'll use our Blackboard message, Messenger uh, uh, in uh, Blackboard to, to communicate with one another. You'll only need one textbook. That's Drug Society and Human Behavior, 17th edition, uh, by Carl Hart. Uh, and some others. Uh, Follette uh, makes this available to you, uh, and you have uh, my books information. Lee College is paying for them this semester, so uh, if you're interested in that and, you know, free books, who wouldn't be interested, uh, check it out. Uh, we have uh, an access center for students with disabilities. If you have uh, some type of uh, uh, condition, uh, situation, circumstances that's problematic for you, we take that serious. 
uh, get with Kaylee Villanueva uh, at this number or that email, uh, and she will work with you, and she will send me an email and tell me what kind of accommodations you need, and if it's anywhere within my power uh, to make those accommodations, I will do so. Attendance policy. I'll expect you to be checking in every week on uh, your uh, uh, in in your uh, uh, course content and doing your assignments and things like that. Uh, so uh, I can track and do track. You know when you were in, how long you stayed, etc. and so forth. Uh, and that's how I take attendance for for, for this course. Uh, we don't have an in person attendance requirement for this course, but I'll, I do have a 1304 lecture class uh, that um, if, you're, if you're interested in attending uh, a lecture, you're more than welcome to it. Anyway, uh, we have an online attendance policy, and here you can find it. Uh, absences due to religious holy days. I'm all for them. If you have a religious holy day, go for it. Uh, academic honesty and proctoring. There's not a whole lot that you can do to cheat. My tests are open book tests, but they're timed. Uh, so I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, you breaking out your books or notes. You're welcome to use them. Uh, but uh, uh, the tests are designed in such a way and timed in such a way that you can't look up every answer unless you're really, really fast, in which case I'm good with that too. Uh, so you'll have to know some of the stuff before you go in there. Uh, and um, uh, I, uh, you know, don't want uh, you to cheat, and so I make it uh, difficult for you to do that. Uh, and for those of you, and I'm sure there are none of, uh, uh, there's no one like this listening to, my, uh, uh, to this little disclosure now, this little lecture now, uh, but we have a catch-all at the end of this for people who cheat, and that's called a competency-based licensure exam, and you don't get any notes or books when you take that, and if you don't know your stuff, well, anyway. That's just FYI. Assistance and appeals. Uh, anytime you have a problem with the course or with uh, or with me as an instructor, please get with me first. Uh, and we can uh, very often resolve whatever's going on at that level and not have to go any further. If, however, uh, you are not satisfied talking to me, then you can contact the division chair, which is also me, so you can consider that dissatisfaction meeting both requirements, and then you can appeal following uh, student appeals policy. We don't have much of this going on. Uh, like I said, everything, uh, uh, for the most part, everything, that uh, any kind of conflict that we've had or situation that needs resolution, we usually meet at the first step. We usually are able to handle it. No more uh, uh, Title IX is uh, involved with safety uh, and protection against sexual harassment, sexual abuse uh, on campus. Uh, if you have incidences of this, uh, then uh, you can find, uh, uh, you can report this through uh, uh, the Lee College uh, resource page. And uh, that's not really confidential because, I mean, it's confidential between you and the person you report it to uh, when you report it. But in order to investigate it, uh, you know, we have to know who and when and where and how, etc. If you uh, have had issues with this and you want confidential support, you can find that at the Bridge Over Troubled Waters. And here's the Baytown office. Uh, and there's a link for Department of Education, Title IX, Sex Discrimination. Uh, uh, so Lee College faculty are responsible employees, which means that uh, I'm required to report incidences of sexual misconduct and uh, that can't guarantee confidentiality. So if you come to me with it, I have to tell the Title IX coordinator and fill out a report with that. 
and uh, relevant details about who's involved and what happened, etc. And if you want to make a formal report, you can contact Dr. Kaufman directly at uh, uh, this number, uh, or you can email Title IX support. Now, Rosemary is a wonderful woman, and uh, she teaches for us sometimes, and she's the uh, advisor for the DAAC uh, programs. And uh, some of you know her already. She's helped you with your, your registration already. She's very accessible and uh, just a good person all the way around. So if, if you're having these types of problems, I totally encourage you to uh, contact Rosemary. Withdrawal drop policy. This is much important. And I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to talk about this several times during uh, the course of the semester. We have a policy at Lee College, we don't drop students unless you haven't showed up at all uh, by the end of, uh, uh, if, if, if after the day of record, you've never attended the course, never done anything in the course, et cetera, then I, I may just go ahead and drop you. Uh, but uh, you can't just stop coming and expect to get a W. And you can't wait till the last minute to, to ask me for an I. That's, uh, uh, that's a different, uh, different animal. Uh, and I'll, uh, I'll um, well, I'll address that now, actually. Uh, so if, if you drop the grade, uh, if you drop the class, it's no fault. I don't drop the class, so if you come to class and just stop coming or don't do your work or whatever, well, at the end of the, uh, end of the term, uh, you, you get an F, and my hands are tied on that. Uh, I don't have any choice. Uh, so if you want to drop, you have to initiate that. You have to do it, uh, and you have to do that at the admissions office. Uh, and the last day to drop for this semester is April 8th, 2022. Uh, and so you pretty much know where you're, uh, where you're going on that by then. And let me also say that, uh, you know, if you're having, I don't want to see you drop. I want to see you complete this course and I want to see you complete it successfully. As far as I'm concerned, right now, today, this very day, this very moment that you're watching it, everyone in this class has an A, and I will be delighted if on May 2nd everyone still has an A. So uh, that's what my interest is. And so if you're having problems, that's when you should be uh, talking to me, calling me, emailing me, see if we can't do something to accommodate you and to work it out. Incompletes are a special kind of creature. An incomplete is there if you have completed at least three-fourths of the uh, coursework and you're passing. And then something happens that you can't complete. And I've had lots of things happen to people that they couldn't complete. They go homeless. Uh, uh, someone dies in the family, they lose their job, or they get a new job, and uh, they, you know, can't do whatever. Uh, and I take that on a case-by-case -case basis. But again, you can't come up to me having uh, a failing grade or, or less than three-quarters of the work done, uh, you know, in the last week or so, and say, you know, I, I need an eye because I can't give it to you. Resignation is complete withdrawal. Uh, and if you want to resign from the classes, you can do that and you'll have, uh, you'll get your W out of that. These are your support ser services. Man, have we got them for you. The Learning Hub, the Library, Math Lab, Writing Center, Student Success and Advising Center, Technology Help Desk, Open Computer Labs. Cool stuff, huh? This number six down here is something I want to draw your attention to. I know that a lot of you are on um, uh, uh, student aid, that you're getting Pell Grants and things like that. Uh, we have lots of scholarships at Lee College. You know, look at the scholarships. See if, you, uh, uh, if any of them uh, uh, are uh, appropriate for you and what you're doing. Because the um, 
uh, scholarships are, um, you know, we, we have a lot of money goes begging at, uh, every year because people don't apply for them and don't get them. Uh, academic support referral. Uh, if uh, uh, you're not doing work and uh, your work, if you're having difficulty with it, if we have been unable to make contact or whatever, uh, I will uh, do an academic support referral uh, if, uh, if we can't, uh, uh, you know, come together on, on what's happening. And that will be, I will send a report to Dr. Kaufman. I like to do this myself. I prefer to do this myself, and I consider it part of my job. Uh, so, uh, but uh, if there's problems, and there are problems sometimes, uh, you know, that, that I can help you with, and I'll be happy to make these uh, uh, referrals for you and see if we can't work something else. Grades and grade points, uh, they're uh, uh, available here, how to go about figuring those. We've already talked about the incomplete. And that's that. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can email them to me about anything that I've just talked about, uh, and I'll get back with you as, as quickly as I can. Uh, down here's your schedule. And I'm going to be making uh, uh, information and assignments available to you and two-week increments, I'm calling them modules, and so you have a week one, week two, week three, week four. A week one and two is in uh, module one. Week three and four is in module two. Week four and five is in module three. Week six and seven is in uh, module four, etc. Uh, or did I get off a number on that? Anyway, uh, maybe seven and eight in modules four. Uh, but anyway, they're in two-week modules, two-week increments. You see that there's a lot, if you scroll right down this, you got quizzes and exams and uh, uh, you'll be looking at videos and doing some reading and stuff like that. Uh, you'll have assignments throughout uh, the semester and your assignments aren't really listed, but there, there'll be at least five of them. There may be more, uh, and I'll count the best five. Uh, uh, but if you if you do what you're asked to do on the assignments, you complete the assignments, that's a, a quarter of your grade. So that's a pretty big chunk. Uh, quizzes, regardless of how many quizzes you get, I'm only going to take 20 of them, and they'll be the best 20 grades. Uh, and these quizzes are usually like 10 questions long. If you've done what you're supposed to have done, if you've read your chapter, uh, watched your videos, and things like that, then they're pretty easy, uh, you know, and again, you, they're, uh, they're timed, and uh, uh, so when you open them, you've got to complete them in a setting. Uh, uh, most of these are 15, sometimes 20, uh, if it's a one I think may be a little more difficult, a 30-minute quiz. Your exams, uh, they're 50% uh, of your grade. And as you can see through here, there's uh, five of them. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, uh, they're timed. Uh, you have an hour to complete them. But like I said, they're open book exams. And you can, uh, uh, you can uh, um, use your notes and all that good stuff. So uh, um, everybody's got a chance to make a really good grade in this class. Um, and I'll open these. Uh, some of them I haven't quite got ready. I'm still doing some editing on it. But your first, uh, uh, your first module, uh, which includes your first two weeks work, is open for you to get started on right away. Uh, this is how your grade breaks down. And there's 800 points in this. So if you... Uh, uh, but uh, that's 100% of your work. Your assignments are 25%, your quizzes are 25%, and your exams are 50%. Uh, 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 so uh, you'll have to do a little math when figuring your grades. You can't look and say, well, I have 100 points in here, so I got an A, because you don't. <laughs> you know? uh, so, and, and stay on top 
of, of, uh, of what you're doing. Because the thing that really, and I know this is a difficult thing, and people sometimes take these courses because they like to proceed at their own um, speed, more or less. Uh, but uh, if, you're, uh, if you're doing that, you know, when you fall behind and you get way behind and you're way behind in a couple of classes or three, man, it's be a, you know, you just run out of time. You don't have enough time at the end of the semester uh, to finish what you want to finish. If you're having difficulty, again, I'm your guy. Give me a call. Give me a holler. That's what I'm here to do is to help you, and I don't mind. That's I've been doing this for over 30 years now, and so, you know, uh, met with a lot of students. I don't begrudge you that time. That's what I'm here for. That said, we'll go back over here. Hey, there I am. Uh, and... Uh, We'll uh, uh, bring this to a conclusion. Uh, this is um, your introductory lecture uh, and what to expect in the classes. I'll be posting lectures here uh, and um, regarding the chapters, your reading assignments. Uh, uh, there'll be other things that are posted for you. Uh, to help you uh, get the material, learn the material. Uh, there'll be presentations and, and uh, assignments throughout the semester. For instance, uh, I expect we'll have uh, someone talking about uh, COVID and the opioid uh, situation uh, that's um, uh, going on in Harris County and how uh, we've been affected uh, with the uh, uh, by the virus, and uh, overdose rate, uh, overdose incidences have gone up, and uh, incidences of opioid use, but that's true uh, with pretty much all the other drugs. That said, I want to give you a little bit of an update on where we stand today, and today, by the way, uh, is uh, January 8th, um, uh, 2022. Uh, the last I looked, uh, COVID cases are up around 37% in Harris County and most of it's Omicron. Uh, the internet is going nuts with stuff about uh, how the vaccines are dangerous. Uh, that's BS. Uh, you, you, flu shots are more dangerous than the COVID vaccine and they're not dangerous at all. Uh, and about the new strain of disease, there's a combination of uh, COVID-19 and flu. Uh, that's BS too. Uh, it is possible to have co-occurring cases of respiratory illness such as COVID-19 and flu, uh, but um, nope. So, uh, basically, what I'm saying is even though we're not meeting face-to-face, -face, if, uh, you know, uh, wear your mask, get your vaccines, do what you can to keep yourself safe. Uh, do not uh, follow the advice that you find a lot on the Internet regarding uh, one site that was selling people dirt to eat because it was, uh, it would keep them safe. It wouldn't keep them safe. Uh, but it made the guy selling the dirt a good bit of money. <laughs> uh, and uh, that kind of thing. So uh, we'll be talking about that. We'll talk about it a lot in some other courses, but that's just uh, uh, where we are. I hope you have a very safe semester and it's a rewarding semester. And like I said, everyone's got an A right now, this very minute. And uh, if uh, you reach the end of the semester with an A, then hooray. <laughs> I'll be delighted for you. Oh, and don't be thrown off. Some of my lectures were done over a year ago, stuff like that. You see weird stuff going on, like different beard lengths. Uh, so it's not like I'm transforming automatically. It's just <laughs> using some older footage. Uh, so uh, good luck to you. And... Um,
you know, contact me if you need me. I'd love to hear from you. Bye.